I told you this elementary canal all has similar structures to it. So the histology is going to be similar. So this is going to be really important for the function throughout. It's going to vary slightly, but this is this, the video that has the similarities between all of them. We then can look at the nuance as needed um, as we go. So this would be kind of a generic section. Again, it's going to vary slightly where we are. Obviously, this tube right here is not the stomach, but the stomach's going to have similar layers. Um, so this is the actual anatomy of generally throughout the elementary canal. So you know what this inner layer is going to be right here. It's outside of the body. You kind of recognize it even, epithelial tissue. Right, um, epithelium. Underneath that is lamina propria. That loose connective tissue, it's areolar tissue that often underlies epithelial tissue. These two together are going to be our mucous membrane or mucosa. I only have room for mucosa there. Um, mucous membrane is the same thing as mucosa, mucosal layer. Underneath that is going to be um, our first muscular layer. And if I need whether to do the full name, we're not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to call it inner muscular layer. This is really zoomed in. See how like thick the stuff is out here. Lamina propria is a very thin layer. This, this epithelial layer is very thin. Um, outside of that, we've got some more muscular layers. No, before that though, I've got, so here's the muscular layers. You can kind of see those. I'm just gonna call those muscular for now since I started talking about that. But this is actually inside, right? This layer right here. This is a gland. Both of these are glands. So this is our submucosa. Just like we saw in the trachea, um, submucosa is often, neath, often underneath mucosa. The mucosal layer produces mucus. The submucosa helps, helps with that. There's glands in there that are producing mucus. That's also going to be really important for the digestive system. So that's submucosa that contains glands. These are the glands themselves. Then we can go back to our muscular layers. You can see there's two. There's a circular layer and a longitudinal layer. This one here, I'm trying to use the same lines, is our circular, goes around that way, longitudinal, go along the long way. So two muscular layers. It must be important to have muscles in there for movement, right? Then outside of that, we've got this layer here, which is serosa. This is also called adventitia. Serosa, I actually prefer. Um, this is gonna be areolar, a thin layer of areolar plus simple squamous epithelium. One of the other rare places we see simple squamous. It's thin. Um, it's actually kind of lined the other way from, we're not really looking for diffusion here. This is just a thin, very thin tissue layer that surrounds the whole shebang. Okay, I think the last thing, I mean, it's artery nerves. I just wanna tell you um, some of these nerves are part of the enteric nervous system. We'll come back, back to that. There's these within the intestines, these whole sets of um, nerve branching that is independent from the central nervous system. 